Distraction in prayer seems to be a common problem. Even Saint Teresa of Avila said she would get distracted during prayer. And once she caught herself counting the nails on the shoes of the sister in front of her during prayer time. Crumbs from Gerard, Tuesday, 3 minute reflections. As you know, Pope Francis prays 3 hours a day. But he said even he gets distracted during prayer. During his one hour adoration every evening, he says, sometimes he even dozes off. St. Thomas Aquinas says that even for a duration of one hour, Father, it's difficult to keep distractions away. So how do we tame the wild elephant that our mind is? The point is, actually we don't need to tame the wild elephant. What needs to be tamed is ourselves. And I suggest a few things for you. The first may be, what you need to change is your posture of prayer, your time of prayer, or maybe your place of prayer. I myself discovered this the long, the hard way. I remember for many years I prayed at a certain time and used to get distracted often. And when I changed that time of prayer, now there are much less distractions, but there are distractions, but much less. The second, and this is really helpful, see what the Catechism of the Catholic Church says. To set about hunting down distractions would be to fall into their trap, when all that is necessary is to turn back to our heart. So that's it. It's normal to be distracted, but forget about a distraction. Every time you're distracted, just come back to your prayer. And the third thing, the third way to deal with distraction is take distraction as the scripture of your life, as somebody has called it. Maybe that distraction is something you need to pray about. So take that distraction and talk to God about it. My dear friends, see what the Catechism of the Catholic Church says. A distraction reveals to us what we are attached to. And this humble awareness before the Lord should awaken our preferential love for Him and lead us resolutely to offer Him a heart to be purified. Friends, distractions are not the problem. What the Lord wants is our faithfulness. So don't count how many times you're distracted, but how many times you faithfully come back to your prayer. This is what St. Francis de Sales says. If all you do is return to God's presence after distraction, then this is very good prayer. Your persistence shows how much you want to be with God. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus. Crumbs from Gerard, Tuesday 3-Minute Reflections.